Chad Colby's look at agriculture technology comes your way next, brought to you by the IBM Watson Decision Platform. Combining AI with Internet of Things data to help agribusiness increase yields, improve quality, and drive sustainability. This time of year, farmers are using technology in the field, but Max, they're also using it at home, sometimes at the bin site. Oh man, it used to be an arduous task. Well, I still know some growers that spend the night out there, maybe sitting the drying operation. It has gotten a little bit less onerous because of the technology, as Chad Colby shares with us. Max, you're absolutely right. There's so much sophistication in handling grain. Certainly, we're familiar with the harvest side of it, but that's just the start. Once you get that grain out of the field, certainly you got to manage it properly after. At the Farm Progress Show, I noticed a lot more technology is moving down the path of automation around our grain dryers. And one of my good friends, Randy Oberly's system, as you can see right here, is pretty sophisticated. He put it in about 10 years ago, and I know Randy's always been kind of on the cutting edge. He's got the watchdog system on this drying operation that he's been using for years and it works very well and the, the key with this is is keeping ahead of the game especially in the heart of the season when moisture's dropping in the field or you maybe you change that variety and you get that two or three point spike in drying if you have your own drying system you're very familiar with this I know on our farm growing up we didn't have anything as sophisticated as this and it was always a constant battle to make sure you didn't go too far. In Randy's system, as you can see here, he has the ability to VPN in or log in remotely. And what you're looking at is that screen on the back, that's his laptop. I was there with, <laughs> with my camera recording it. And then you can see up in the right-hand corner, that's him logging in via his cell phone and he's going to make adjustments to his dryer right here in real time. You'll see he's gonna click on temperature, and you can see he's going to change that temperature from 215 down to 210. I think the thing to understand is, is there's a lot of people, Randy included, is even looking at how he can advance this system. Because with the availability of higher speed internet and whether that's better Wi-Fi networks or better cell phones, all those things, it's giving us all a lot more options on what we can do. And that kind of brings me back to my first point. At the Farm Progress Show, the guys at uh, GSI, in fact, they've got a new system, and it got Randy's attention because he's already looking into it. It's definitely like any other technology today. There's so many new enhancements to make you better aware of what's going on. You can see right here, it's got a series of cables in the bend to keep an eye on the moisture and even some great automation around your fans. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. We've come light years to be sure and advancing the technology right there in the drying operation, an important part of the process to bring that moisture level down where it needs to be from sometimes a very high level in the field.